For today's episode, I want to talk about battles. I'm here by myself in downtown LA to take over some gyms and share some of my strategies so you guys can go out and start winning some battles. First things first, if you're new to Pokemon, you're going to want to learn about type advantages. In Pokemon, every type has advantages or disadvantages against other types. For example, water is super effective against fire, but not very effective against grass. In Pokemon Go, super effective moves deal 25% extra damage, where not very effective moves only deal 80% of their total damage. When challenging gyms, you want to try to choose Pokemon with type advantages over the Pokemon defending the gym. If you're new to Pokemon and you don't fully understand type advantages, I'll place a link in the description below so you can check it out and get familiar. Once you've mastered type advantages, you're going to want to start learning about moves. Every move in Pokemon Go takes a different amount of time to use. Just because a move has the highest power doesn't mean it's the most efficient. For example, Pound deals 8 damage, but it actually deals more damage per second than Poison Jab because you can use it faster. We're going to do an in-depth analysis of all the moves in an upcoming video, but if you want to start checking out the numbers for yourself, I'll place a link in the description below. The top 10 moves in terms of raw damage per second output are Psycho Cut, Mud Shot, Lick, Scratch, Water Gun, Metal Claw, Shadow Claw, Wing Attack, Vine Whip, and Pound. Spamming your fast attack will maximize the amount of damage you can deal, but you'll also take a lot of damage in the process. In order to reduce the amount of damage you take during a battle, you'll want to weave dodges in between your attacks. Typically, you'll want to dodge after every 2-3 to three fast attacks. Charge attacks, while they might deal large amounts of damage at once, are usually inefficient because of the amount of time it takes to cast them. I'm here at the Killer Bunny Gym in downtown LA to show you how you can use the tips that I shared to take down a gym where the Pokemon defending it are stronger than your own. So the first thing I'm going to do is choose my team based on type effectiveness. I know that there's an Arcanine, a Fire type, and a Golduck, who's Water type here at the gym. So I'm going to choose my Vaporeon to take down the Arcanine, and my Jolteon to take down the Golduck. You want to use attacks, and then after every two or three, dodge around until the enemy Pokemon attacks. After it attacks, you can attack a few more times, and then continue dodging. Now I'm going to switch Pokemon to my Jolteon, since its attacks are super effective against the Golduck. Alright, obviously I'm having a hard time dodging this one. That's why you have more Pokemon. Boom, and there it is. Even though the Pokemon are stronger, you get to use six, so you have an inherent advantage. It's time to claim this gym for Team Instinct. I'm here at another gym, and hopefully we can take this one down before it gets too dark. The Pokemon here also are a lot stronger than my own, but using those techniques we shared earlier, we're gonna take this one down. I'm gonna make sure I choose all my Pokemon with type advantages. Let's get into it. Golduck disappeared. Someone else is here fighting this gym, apparently. Well, right now there's no one helping me, but someone did take out that Golduck right before I started.
ironic how slow quick attack actually is. But there it is. Two gyms with Pokemon way stronger than my own claimed for Team Instinct today. One important thing I didn't talk about today is Pokemon's stats, and that's because we don't know a whole lot about them yet. Once we have a better understanding of damage formulas and how stats actually affect battle, we'll do another video to cover that. So, hopefully you found some of that information useful. That's just the tip of the iceberg when it comes to battles, and we're going to be going into a lot more detail in some upcoming videos. We just got a brand new dump of some game data that includes a lot of really interesting information, so we'll be going over that for the next few days and incorporating it into some really helpful videos. I know some of you are probably thinking, Nick, why are your Pokémon so weak? And there are actually two reasons for that. The first is, I haven't used any of my Stardust or Candies to power up my Pokémon yet. I've been saving them all for when we do a video on the optimal way to power up and evolve your Pokemon. The second reason is, I spend at least 8 hours a day shooting and editing these videos for you guys. I'm super committed to uploading daily, and we've just been blown away by the growth of the channel. By the time this gets uploaded, we'll probably have reached 100,000 subscribers, so I just want to say thank you so much for all the support so far, and we're really excited to continue bringing you guys great content on Pokemon Go. Remember, we are giving away a Pokemon Go Plus as soon as it ships, so if you want to be eligible for that, make sure you subscribe. And as always, thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next episode. A four-hour nap later, and we're here at the Capitol Building in Sacramento, California. This place is a beautiful landmark that was made official in 1974. And it's surrounded by Pokestops, as I'm sure the capital of your state or country is. So, if you want to get some items, find some eggs, and maybe learn a little bit of history, go check it out.